<laughs> Lady Days Off by Connect TV and we're here ahead of Saturday night's main event Fury White at Wembley Stadium I'm delighted to be joined by the wonderful Echo Esmond surprisingly Echo and we're sponsored by ESBC Boxing Game and brought to you in association with Empire Fight Store Echo how are we? Yeah I'm good thanks um, supposed to be fighting next week um, you know what on, on Monday night I was like divering davering in my sleep and a thought came in my mind and I was like I'm going to be fighting this week and then I just brushed it off like, no, 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 I'm fighting in two weeks, I'm fighting in two weeks. And then, okay, um, well, can I get the win and lot of numbers off you as well while we're at? <laughs> and then, um, surely enough, when I was, um, I did my warm-up run at the gym, I started um, doing some shadow boxing, and my manager's ran in the gym excited, He's just been on the phone, and I, I just said to him, Jimmy, whatever you're going to say to me, the answer is yes. <laughs> then, he, then he goes, you're fighting this week. I was like, okay then. <laughs> like obviously amazing that you're one week out anyway from your, your scheduled fight but what is it like I mean Wembley Stadium 100,000 people like this is the dream for any fire right yeah yeah it's, it's a wicked opportunity as soon as they mentioned it, as soon as I knew the mention of it I, the answer was always yes like um, I'm always within striking distance of the weight anyway so um, the uh, level of where we was at in the camp made sense obviously so yeah I'm here Obviously, this is like a really good example of why you should one stay ready and two, you should be like responsible in terms of like weight cutting and like you know being able to take a fight on a week ahead of your week's notice or whatever it might be. Um, you know how devastating would it have been for the opportunity to be there and you not be ready, whether it be weight or you haven't tapered down properly. Yeah, yeah, that would have been that would have been horrible. But um, we do things right, so yeah, I'm here. Here. And obviously at the press conference earlier on they spoke about you know your journey that it wasn't exactly the easiest one. You weren't a fighter that got everything handed to you. You've had to work your way up to where you are now. You know, now that you're here and you're on this massive stage, do you feel like it's kind of stood to you? Uh, what do you mean by that? Like, th by not being kind of like you know a, a one and zero and being put on a massive stage and you know being six and zero and then being like oh I'm in for a title fight. You know you've got the experience. You've done it the right way, the hard way that we would say. Yeah, yeah, I definitely say that. It's just like um, when you go something into something when you're not mature enough. Um, I feel like my boxing brain and my boxing maturity is at that level where little things that like I would have had to learn under the limelight. I've, I've, I've learned like on the small hole shows. I've been through my gritty fights. I've been through the fights that should break some people for other reasons. And yeah, I'm here and I'm battle hardened. I'm proven and I'm here to show everyone what I'm about. Obviously, getting the win on Saturday night. You know, where does that put you? Where do you want to be for the rest of the year? What's what's the plan in place? After um, I successfully win on Saturday night, um, I want to have one more British title defence so I can have the belts outright, and then it's just climbing all all the rankings, getting higher and higher, and then challenging for world honours. Is there opponents in mind, or are you just like look put whoever in front of me? It's the titles that I'm after, and it's the accolades that I want instead. Yes, yeah, I mean it's the titles that I want. I, there's there's no such thing as an easy pick in boxing. You can pick an opponent and then within a month or two they might fall down the rankings and it doesn't make sense even fighting them anymore. Um, so I just, I'm aiming for the belts. That's what I want, the belts and the rankings. So it's just whoever's above me, fair game. Because that's how it is for me anyway. Whoever's below me, they're, they're coming for me. So naturally, whoever, target on your back. <laughs> whoever's above me, you're in trouble as well. Well, listen, we look forward to seeing you on Saturday night. And a great addition. We're delighted when we heard last night that you were going to be added to the card. So congratulations and look forward to seeing you perform. And uh, any final words? No final words. I'm just happy to be here. Thank you very much. Echo Esmond for Fight Connect TV. Thank you so much.